Now I've opened up the internet again and I've gone to the Apple store there we are apple.com now what I want to go along the subhead in here we want to go to iPod now I'm just going to cover information about the iPod touch if you've bought one now once you come to this page here we've got some headings here the iPod so shuffle nano classic iPod touch we can click on that or click on that let's click on the smaller one it'll bring you to this page here now this is this will just toggle between different adverts okay Apple's own adverts but if we scroll down the screen we can read about iMessage learn more we can read about high definition video recording again learn more all about gaming further down if we scroll further down we've got the intelligent operating system 5 or iOS 5 for our iPods iPhones and iPads we've got information about saving data in the cloud iCloud where you back up your data and then you can share your data between uh, different devices like iPad iPhone or iPod now some further information down here you can shop online, visit a store, blah blah blah. Down here is information if you want to read about iTunes 10.5. We already downloaded that yesterday. I showed you how in the previous video. So let's once now we've done that, I just want to go. I want to open iTunes. Now we can again double click on our iTunes icon on the desktop. As I've already got it open, I'm just clicking at the bottom here. Now sometimes when it opens, it doesn't fill your screen. So if you want it to fill the screen, go here and click on that square in the middle. And we'll fill the screen with it. Now the first place we want to go is the home. Home music, both the same page. Now that's the home page again, as we know about. Now what I'm interested in today is telling you a little bit more information about that application yesterday, that free application called Gibson Learn and Master. So if we go to the App Store, so we we'll go along here, click on your App Store. It's going along the progress bar. The computer's a bit slow as well. I think I've bogged it down with too much information. Okay, now we're on the App Store. Now I'm going to go over to the right and I'm going to go in the search store. I'm going to type in Gibson. As soon as I type in the word Gibson it might already suggest. Look, it's already come up with the suggestion underneath. There. So I'm going to click on that. Gibson Learn and Master Guitar. That's what we want. Let's see if we sh should bring it up. There we are. Now I want to click on that icon for Gibson Learn and Master. So I've clicked on it. It's accessing the iTunes store with the bar, the progress bar. And there we go. Look, we looked at this yesterday. It's a free download. It's a free app or free application. It's compatible with iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad requires iOS 4 or later the operating system so I'm just going to scroll down this page and this one I want to kind of take a look at I want to tell you about with this application you've got a guitar tuner it's a chromatic tuner and I'm going to move this bar along here at the bottom to the right and show you what else we've got You can even look at lessons. Yeah, look, look at this one. We've got we've got a, a metronome where we can change the time in here by moving this touch screen. We can do a tap function. We can change the time signature. And then over here on your right, you've even got where you can type in chords. 
so you can look up chords. Say you want to look up a C7, and um, you t go into this, and it'll give you like an alphabetical list up or down the screen. You can just type C7. It'll come up then with your picture, your guitar picture. Okay. Now, as applicable to all applications, you can come up with information and click on this where it says more I'll bring up more information look look at that you would have missed all that just with that tiny little word saying more so you can read all about this let's have a look a professional quality chromatic tuner a alternate tuning settings a standard mode tuner an accurate metronome a chord library and free video lessons and that's at Learn and Master Guitar or Legacy Learning so I might just click on that and show you that website and I would recommend it actually it's very good and now I've come further down and we've got customer ratings here and people can rate it however many stars now it's quite rare ever to get a five star rating so even when you see a four star out of five it's very good and then you can read people's comments further down. Now, I always bear in mind that if I read comments, if they're all negative, then I'd get suspicious about any application. But we've got to remember, it, you know, there's people who would compete and give negatives spitefully. But generally, it's a good guide, is this. So anyway, it's a free application available from the Apple Store remember to click on apps and then uh, look for Gibson Learn and Master and uh, when you click download it'll have a little circle over on your apps going round and round until it's fully downloaded once you've downloaded it click on your apps and it should show up in your personal screen there you are, that's all my icons there now it's separate. These icons are separated off into segments that are compatible with. Now this, all these are compatible with iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPads. Okay, that lot there. This this row of three, or three rows. Now further down, these are compatible with the iPhone and the iPod Touch apps. And the last one, although I downloaded it because I'll get a, an iPad later, just specific to the iPad. Now there was my icon for Gibson Learning Master. So anyway, I hope this has helped you. Um, look out for my next video, which I'll cover further. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.